now we will insert that data to this internal table lt underscore text and we all know whenever we want to insert that data to the internal table we always use append statement append work area to internal table so firstly we will pass that data to the inter firstly we will pass that data to work area from the work area we will pass it to internal table so what is our work area lwa underscore text if i will check this work area work area is of this type what is the name of the column in this work area line so i will simply simply write hyphen line what is the first line we want to write dear sir and we we should never never hard code the text into one language we will create text symbol suppose i am writing text hyphen 001 i will create this text symbol and i will write dear sir i will activate this text symbol so dear sir i move it to work area how it will go to internal table through which statement append statement append work area to internal table lt underscore text as a programming best practice we should always always clear the work area so i will clear lwa underscore text now if you see the mail what is the mail body dear sir after that what we want to write we want to write below is the attached pdf thanks and regards rahul mehta so we want to go for four lines we want to go for four lines so we will go for four append statements see if you have a single line if you want to go for single line so you can put in single line itself now we want to go for four individual lines four new lines so i will put four append statements now i will go for second line so i will simply copy and i will write text hyphen 002 i will create this text hyphen 002 and i will write what is text hyphen 002 below is the attached pdf i will activate now i will go for third line i will copy now we will go for text hyphen 003 i will create this yes i want to create and text hyphen 003 is thanks and regards if we know some best practices we should always always use that i will go to back button now i will go for my name at the last i will go for text hyphen 004 i will create this text symbol and I will write my name. So we simply inserted four records to this internal table. This is the email body, and we are passing this to the we are passing this internal table to this particular method. Now we will proceed further. Now, if you see, we have a parameter i underscore type. What we need to give in this i underscore type. If you double click here on create underscore document, i underscore type is a mandatory parameter. See, optional is not ticked. So we need to pass the value of this i underscore type i underscore type is a mandatory parameter if i will double click 
just see i underscore type if i will double click it is for document class document class means document classification means whatever the document we are sending it will be it will be for which classification it will belongs to which particular category so whatever the documents we are sending we need to go for specific classification specific category suppose simple example if i will double click on to this data element document class means document classification whatever the document we will send it will be classified into which category so it if i will go for that domain i will double click I will go to value range. So SAP gave a value table. If I will double click, I will go to the contents. If I will go to F for help, you can see we have so many document classification and you can easily, easily understand. Suppose we have a BAP list document, so we will use ALI classification. If we have distribution list, we will go for DLI. If we have a PC document, we will go for EXT. If we have a SAP script document, we will go for SCR. Yes, so we have a specific document classification. Yes, and based upon our current thing, we will go for the classification raw. We have a SAP editor document. Yes, we have a SAP document. So we will go for which particular classification raw and maximum, maximum 99%. You will always, always go for this particular document classification. Yes, you have a SAP document which you are sending. So we will go for which document classification. Whenever we will send the mail, at that time, I will show you the inbox. At that time, the document classification, we will be able to see raw, raw there. So we will simply, simply use the document classification raw, document type classification raw. If I will go for back button, so we will simply, simply pass the document classification as raw. Now we pass the document classification raw. We pass the subject of the mail. We pass the body of the mail. And now it is returning. It is returning what result result. If I want to check the type of result, what will be the type of result? Result is type ref2. It means result is a object object to this particular class. So I will simply simply declare the object. So I will write here LO underscore document so that we can understand fully that this object is for this particular document class. And now I will declare the object. So I will simply write <laughs> LO underscore document type ref I will give the name of the class. I will check the syntax and I will activate. it. So what is the summary of last video and this video? In this particular last two videos, we as we started with the documentation process now. So as a part of documentation, we all know we need to use which particular class CL underscore document underscore BCS. We use the method create underscore document and it is a static method. So there's no need for the object. 
So firstly, we give the subject. What is the subject? We gave order details. Then we gave the body. Then we gave the male body. So how we gave the male body? We uncommented the parameter I underscore text. In front of this, we declared the internal table. And we appended four records to this internal table. Now, whenever, whenever you are creating a document, we need to specify that, that this document belongs to, this document is belongs to which particular classification, which particular category, whatever the document we are sending, it belongs to which classification, it is in which category. So firstly, what we did, how we check that classification, we simply double click I underscore type, I underscore type is referring to this data element. Data element has a domain. In the domain, we have a value table. We went to value table. And when we went to this particular value table, we are able to find the various classification and we used which particular document type classification raw row and it's a real world whenever we are going for documents we are always classifying the documents into various categories so after that what we did simply we simply put the return as a object of this particular class so we simply declared one object LO underscore document and which is referring to this particular document class itself. In the next video, we will simply simply attach the may attach the content because we gave the subject, we gave the mail body. Now we need to attach. So in the next video, we will simply simply add the attachment. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.